Hello guys, I'm back once again on my channel Gurukul Career Institute. Guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe it and click on the bell icon to receive further update of our latest videos. Today we'll be doing most important one-liner MCQs that are very important from UPSC and UPPSC point of view. This is part 1 and because in part 2 we'll have another set of MCQs. Okay, then let's start. Question number 1. Which of the following commission was appointed by the central government on union state relation in 1983? Here, the answer will be A, that is Sarkaria Commission. Then, moving on to our next question, that is question number 2. Which of the following taxes are levied by the union but are collected and appropriated by the, sta uh, by the state? Here our answer will be D, that is both A and B, stamp duties and excise duties on medical and toilet materials, both are levied by the union but are collected and appropriated by the state. Then moving on to our next question, question number 3, <coughs> which of the following taxes are imposed and collected by the state government? Here the answer will be D, that is all of the above. Then question number 4, which of the following taxes is levied, by the, is levied and collected by the union government but the proceeds are distributed between the union and the state? Here we will have our answer as income tax that is answer number B. Then moving on to our next question, question number 5, which of the following is levied and collected by the union government? Here our answer will be all of the above that is custom duty, excise duty and state duty all are levied and collected by the union government. Moving on to our next question, question number 6. Which of the following deals with the grant in aid uh, by the union government to the state? Here we will have our answer as article 275. Then moving on to our next question, question number 7. Which of the following article deals with the election of the vice president? That is article number 66. It is the article which deals with the election of the vice president. Moving on to our next question. Who can remove the vice president from his office? It is the parliament which who has the power to remove the vice president from his office. Then moving on to our question number 9. The term of the office of the vice president is as follows. The options are 6 years, 4 years, 7 years and 5 years. Here we will have as 5 years as our answer. Then we will have our next question and the last one. The vice president is the ex-official chairman of Rajya Sabha. Here we will have our answer as Rajya Sabha. Oh. Okay guys, thank you for watching and click and subscribe our channel. Have a nice day ahead.